Do you ever visit someone at work or watch a reality show and think, hey, I could do that, or I wonder what it's really like? Well, I took it to the next level. If you want to cool down after these warm days, why not catch a hockey game? But what does it take to become a pro on the ice? I found out in Michaela Can. Speed, strength, agility. Hockey players must have it all and control a puck at the same time. It's a fast game, it's a physical game. Um, you know, guys are going up and down the ice, running into each other all night long, and uh, you know, it gets a little bit ornery sometimes, guys, guys get in fights, and, uh, but you can, you can expect a lot of energy, that's the best way to put it. Before I hit the ice, I have to look the part. Socks, shin guards, padded pants, skates, shoulder pads, elbow pads, jersey, helmet, gloves, then make sure to tape the shin guards in place and add a stick. Do I look like a hockey player or what? I've skated before, but never with this much equipment on. The players say it's about 15 extra pounds and about double the weight if you're a goalie. With hopes of making it to the Stanley Cup champion team in Boston, coaches and players in Providence are working hard every day. You know, our job as coaches is to, you know, obviously put a competitive team on the ice, night in and night out, and then, um, uh, to develop the players that Boston thinks you know ought to be developed. Keep the puck in front of you and when you want to shoot, pull it back and fire it. When you're passing, just keep the puck in front of you again. Keep your head up and push it a little bit in front of me. These skills and drills are non-contact. So why do players need all the padding? I just try to close my gap yep. and then when you get right here, then I try to finish you. There's two different ways to check an opponent into the board. Hips and shoulders. The object is to tie up the opposing team and free the puck for yourself. So you can go down and score a goal. But it's never that easy. First you have to beat the defense and go for the goal. But now it was my turn to get a lesson in goaltending. You have to just stop the puck. That's it. You only what you need. Do whatever I can. All right. Blood, stick, and helmet, but no more pads for me. Let's go to the net. I don't think I can handle it. How you hold it, you're going to be in position like that. Here you go. Your stick going to be on your eyes. Your stick going to be between your legs. So close your five hole. Close your five. What? See that? Yeah. Here you go. Goalies can drop down to the ice, catch with their gloves. Here you go. Or throw their entire body to the ground. <laughs> but never let the other team see you sweat. As soon as you're going to show your emotions, Player's gonna know like your emotion right now, and you're gonna lose your uh, control and stuff like that. And you have to know how to change lines. So we had some fun <laughs> trying to go to the bench. Hey, shift. Yeah. And back on the ice. I'm coming. But just like my attempt at a line change, things don't always go so smooth. And players get angry. Do you want to fight? When fights happen, it's off to the penalty box for five minutes. Come on. I've learned a lot. Passing, shooting, defense, checking, fighting, goaltending, and my personal tip to becoming a hockey player, wear waterproof mascara. It's hard work. It's hard work. Oh yeah. And the Providence Bruins are currently in their 20th season. They're playing tonight at 7.05 against the Manchester Monarchs. And because it's Friday, tickets are $5 off. Go Bruins!